That's the sound of the 130 horsepower Clerge rotary engine powering the Sopwith triplane. First flew in May 1916. It was actually based on the Sopwith pup. imagination gets caught by certain aeroplanes during the Second World War, the Spitfire, even though the Hurricane perhaps in the Battle of Britain played a greater role. We had the SE-5A and we had the Sopwith Camel. In some respects, the, uh, the SE-5A was, and we'll talk about that when we get to see one in the air, was perhaps the better aeroplane, but everyone remembers the Camel. That's largely because the Camel had that rare quality. To a great bunch of volunteers. This is the third and final aircraft that was built by the Northern Aircraft Workshops uh, up in uh, Batley, West Yorkshire. 
an arrangement that lasted 40 years and the, uh, the team there stood down at the end of uh, 2016. They built the Sopwith triplane replica, they built the Bristol M1C monoplane, which we'll also see in the sky uh, sometime very shortly. Uh, this aircraft came here to O1 after fitting out, fitting the engine, uh, flew for the first time.